Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about control and influence. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today, as this video is released in the United States, it is Election Day. No, this is not a political ad or a political commentary. In fact, while the example that I'm going to use in just a second relates to the election, uh, the subject matter of this video has nothing to do with that at all. So stay, because this is going to be pretty good. So here's the thing. If you are a voter, uh, you have a view of the world. And if you're a non-voter, you likely have a view of the world. And if you're a voter, you've probably talked to someone at some point that doesn't vote. And there's really only two reasons people don't vote. One is that they literally don't care at all. But the more common reason, if you ask someone why they don't vote, they say what? I can't control the outcome. Doesn't make any difference whether I vote or not. And that's the point that I wanted to make today. Because see, here's the thing. The reason people don't vote is they don't think it can make a difference. The reason that you vote is you feel like it can. And that fundamental difference is all of the difference between how control and influence relate to our work our actions in our life. So here's the thing. When someone says they can't control the outcome, I would say to them, you're right, you can't. And you're like, what's the point of this video then, Kevin? Well, because while you can't control the outcome, you can influence the outcome. Let's talk about what is in our control. As human beings of sound mind and body, there's really about five things we have in our control. Are you ready? We have control of our thoughts. The things that we think are in our control. No one can make us think something. It's our, in our control to think. Our thoughts are in our control. Our actions are in our control. We choose what to do. I'm choosing to shoot this video. I'm choosing to walk across the room. I'm choosing to make that phone call. Uh, that is my, my actions are mine. Next, our words. No one can put words in our mouth. That would be unsanitary, as Zig Ziglar used to say. Here's the reality. Our words are ours. We have control of the words that we use. Throughout these first three examples, I've mentioned something else several times. I've used the word choose. Our choices are in our control. Not anyone else's. They're in our control. Our choices could be influenced by others. Our words could be influenced by others. Our actions could be influenced by others. But at the end of the day, they're ours. And the last one I'll put in this list is our feelings. The things that we feel belong to us. They are in our control. Now, all of these things can be influenced by others, but at the end of the day, we make the, we do the, th we do the thing. We say the words, we have the feeling, we have the thought, etc., in our control, right? So, point is that oftentimes someone will say to you, well, I can't control that. And when we can't control something, we won't take any action, just like the person who doesn't vote. I can't control the outcome. What's the point? There's no use in voting. So the reality is we have influence on lots of stuff, even though we can't control it. So the next time someone says to you, I don't have any control over that, or I can't control that, what they're going to say next is, so I'm not going to take any action. And your response should be, I agree, you can't control it. But what could you do to influence it? Because there's a big difference between control and influence. Control is a guarantee, right? Influence is not. We can't control most things in our lives, but we can have an influence on them. Now, as a leader, it's important to keep this in mind because if we're dealing with someone, if we're coaching someone who is acting from the, mi the stationary mindset, the victim mindset of I have no control, then we have to help them move. Our job as a leader is to help move people from a stationary to an accountable mindset, from a place of, I can't control it, to a place of, what could I do to influence it? I hope this has been useful. Let me summarize all of this with today's tweet. When we don't think we can influence something, we won't take any action. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that you have, I want to point you to a set of 14 videos that we created about becoming a more remarkable leader. We call this 20 Days to Remarkable Leadership, and we, sh we share with you 14 videos over 20 days. And you can learn more about that at the link on this page. I hope you'll do exactly that, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Remarkable TV.